Find all solutions to the trig equation. Sine of 4x quantity cubed minus 4 sine of 4x equals 0. In the interval, 0 to 2 pi, including 0 but excluding 2 pi. Now, our problem splits into two parts. For the first part, let y be equal to sine of 4x. That gives us a polynomial equation. I put the trig off for a little bit. Now, we have y cubed minus 4y equals 0. I factor out a y. That leaves me with y squared minus 4, and that further factors as y plus 2, y minus 2. If I set that equal to 0, I get y equals 0 or plus minus 2. Okay, safety tip. If you were to just factor out the y, put it aside as the solution y equals 0. You're left with y squared minus 4 equals 0, or y squared equals 4. Square root both sides. Then you get y equals 2 and y equals minus 2. So don't forget to include the negative solution. With y equal to 0 plus minus 2, I'm now going to put sine of 4x back in. That gives me sine of 4x equals 0 or plus minus 2. Okay, this gets us to the next part, the trig. So let's remind ourselves what sine actually is. Sine is the y value on the unit circle. So if you note, the y values are all between minus 1 and 1. So if I want to solve sine of anything equal to minus 2, sine of anything equal to 2, we're going to get no solution. There's nothing that you can put in sine that gets you a minus 2 or a 2. So that leaves us with sine of 4x equals 0. Now, again, sine is the y value in the unit circle. I'm going to let 4x be equal to box. So we're looking for where is sine of box equal to 0. Okay, well, if we take a look at the y values, so y is equal to 0, we're at 0, pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, and so on. So that means box is going to be a multiple of pi, or box equals n times pi, where n is an integer. We put back in 4x. So that gives 4x equals n times pi, or x equals n times pi divided by 4. So our solutions are going to be multiples of pi fourths. If I use negative multiples, we get negative numbers out. We're not going to be in 0 to 2 pi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at 0 and just keep adding pi fourths till we hit 2 pi. So the x that we get for solutions will be 0, pi fourths, pi halves, 3 pi fourths, pi, 5 pi fourths, 3 pi halves, 7 pi fourths. We plot them all on our unit circle. They're all spaced out by pi fourths. So that's our answer. Of course, we check our work. Now, we're going to put it back in the original equation. First thing we do is multiply by 4. So if I multiply any of these by 4, I get a multiple of pi. Sine of a multiple of pi is 0. So what comes out is going to be 0 minus 0 gives me 0. So all of these solutions check out.